Oliver is a demand planner working at a multinational company. His job is to review the forecasted sales quantity of products on a quarterly basis and to compare this with the delivered quantities of the previous year. If he finds major differences between the two key figures, he refines the forecast for the upcoming time periods. To process his tasks, he uses the SAP Integrated Business Planning add-in for Microsoft Excel. Oliver uses the Adjusted Actuals Quantity Prior Year Key Figure, which is maintained in the Planning Areas app, to display the delivered quantities from the previous year. The key figure contains a period shift calculation, which makes it possible to shift and display values from 12 months before. This is called cross-period calculation, since the actual calculation happens across several time periods. He calls up the Excel add-in and he runs one of his usual queries for the product region combination Bike Pedal Titanium EMEA. His planning view template includes the statistical forecast quantity, the adjusted actuals quantity, and the adjusted actuals quantity prior year key figures. While doing so, he cannot help noticing that running the query and displaying the results takes rather a long time. To enhance performance, queries are typically filtered. When filters are used, all attributes are filtered as early in the calculation graph as possible ideally at the level of stored key figures. This ensures that data volume is reduced and calculations can be performed on a filtered set of data. This is what Oliver does. He uses filtering to speed up his query. He changes the time horizon of the planning view from three years to two years. However, this does not seem to solve the issue. Running the query still requires roughly the same time. He decides to call Petra his modelling expert colleague, and asks her to look into the performance issues he's struggling with. Petra calls up the Key Figure Calculations app, where she can display the calculation graph of key figures. She searches for the right planning area, and for all three key figures that Oliver uses in his planning view template. First, she checks the calculation graph of the key figures and displays the calculation expressions within the graph. Everything seems to be fine so far. Then she switches to the filter blocks tab to see if there are any calculations that raise filter blocks, as well as to find attributes that can be used for effective filtering in the planning view. But what is a filter block? Some modeling techniques prevent filtering on the level of stored key figures by imposing filter blocks on certain attributes. A filter block is required for these calculations so that they provide correct results. For example, in the case of cross-period calculations, the filtering of time attributes is not allowed, as the calculation uses values from several time periods. This also means that data volume cannot be reduced at the level of stored key figures. Calculations are performed on a large, unfiltered data set, which can only be filtered and reduced after the blocking calculation has been performed. As a result, running queries might take longer compared to calculations that do not raise filter blocks. By displaying where filter blocks occur in the calculation graph, Petra can get a better understanding of how to filter data more effectively and improve the performance of queries. So, Petra checks the filter block view of the calculation graph. The calculations include a large number of attributes which makes the graph cumbersome and difficult to navigate. Petra selects the attributes that are included in the planning view template, product and location region, as well as the time attribute that Oliver has used for filtering. As a result, filter-related information will only be displayed for these attributes. If an attribute is not used as a filter in the planning view template, it is irrelevant from a performance perspective. Attributes affected by filter blocks only cause performance issues if they are actually used for filtering in the query. Now that the graph is simplified, Petra takes a closer look at it. She notices that there is a red calculation in the graph, which imposes a filter block. She checks the node info and sees that it is a period shift calculation. This is a cross-period calculation 
that raises a time filter block to ensure the correctness of the calculation. Without filter blocks, filtering would already happen at the level of stored key figures, for example, for the current year. As a result, values from the previous year would not be available for shifting. She can see that the time attribute of this calculation is affected by a direct block. This means that filtering for the time attribute is blocked by the actual calculation, in this case by a period shift. This filter block is inherited by all calculations that are direct or indirect inputs of the period shift calculation, down to the level of stored key figures. They are called inherited blocks. All calculations that are direct or indirect inputs of the period shift calculation are affected by the filter block. This means that filtering for the time attributes can only happen after the period shift calculation has been performed. That is, time attributes can only be used as effective filters on the output of the calculation, almost at the top of the graph. This explains why changing the time horizon of the planning view template has not improved performance. So, what can Petra do to improve performance if she cannot get rid of the time filter blocks in the calculation? Petra notices that there are filter attributes in the calculation graph, for example, location region, location ID and product ID, which Oliver could use effectively for filtering from the level of the stored key figures. She has two options. First of all, she can ask Oliver to use other dimensions and attributes for filtering. For example, instead of using the region, he could use the location ID in his queries. By changing the aggregation level from region to location and running his query for one specific location ID, he can reduce the data volume on which the calculation is performed. Furthermore, filtering for the location ID is not blocked by any calculations, so the dataset can already be filtered, and the data volume reduced, at the level of the stored key figure. Another option to speed up the query is to remodel the calculation of the adjusted actuals quantity prior year key figure. Taking a second look at the calculation graph, Petra notices that the period shift calculation which imposes the filter block, is almost at the very top of the graph. Since filtering can only happen after the period shift has been calculated, all calculations below it are performed on a large, unfiltered dataset. The direct input of the period shift calculation is the adjusted actuals quantity key figure. It contains an inner join calculation, which might increase the runtime of queries in itself even without the blocking period shift built onto it. Petra decides to remodel the adjusted actuals quantity prior year calculation. She creates a new key figure, where she moves the inner join calculation above the period shift calculation. The new key figure is mathematically equivalent to the original one. It will yield the same results. In the newly created key figure, filtering can happen earlier in the calculation graph and the inner join calculation can be performed on a smaller, filtered dataset. Petra gets back to Oliver and asks him to use the newly created key figure in his queries. Oliver does that right away, and he's happy to see that he can run his queries at the level of regions again and increase performance at the same time. There are several types of modelling techniques that raise filter blocks to ensure the functional correctness of calculations. These calculations include time attribute transformation, master data transformation, cross period calculations, except for dynamic last period aggregation and weighted average, as well as L script calculations. As mentioned before, filter blocks, though they might cause performance issues, are required for functional correctness. However, there are a few tips and tricks to improve performance and speed up your queries. First of all, use those attributes for filtering that can already be used for filtering at the level of the stored key figure. Then, consider simplifying the calculations below the calculations that impose filter blocks. Try moving complex calculations above the blocking calculations. Finally, 
separate those key figures that cannot be effectively filtered and thus queried together into different planning view templates. For more information and examples of filter blocks and effective filtering, check out the filter blocks section under monitoring and troubleshooting in the model configuration guide.